lots of animals you can play with. They're either super big or super... wet. Anyway, Paimon wants to play with something small, cute, and cuddly. Oh, like a cat! How about we head to the cat's tail in Mondstadt and have a look around? Margaret is talking with those two people over there. Wait, is that Rosaria? Huh, she's standing next to an adventurer Paimon doesn't recognize. Say no more, Valerina. I'll continue to help you out just as Victoria requested. Look after the cats, check up on their health, give them a bath. These are all things well within my capabilities. That doesn't solve our biggest problem, though, Miss Rosaria. The cats have been so anxious. If we can't get them to trust us, they're sure to get sick from all the anxiety. We just opened, and the Furball Fortress is already about to go under. Well, panicking certainly isn't going to solve the problem. The fact is, neither of us has a way with cats. That's not something I can change. Sounds like you're all really worried about something. Our cat saviors! They've appeared already! Uh, saviors? Uh, seems a bit sudden considering we just met. I'll try to keep it short. My name's Valerina, and I really like small animals. Recently, I've been trying to set up a shelter for stray cats. I call it the Furball Fortress. I thought it would be a good way to rescue those poor animals that have nowhere to go. Plus, getting them off the streets will improve the overall environment and look at the city. It's a win-win! The sisters over at the church heard about my plans and sent over the kindly Miss Rosaria to help. I wouldn't exactly describe myself as kindly. I just accepted the assignment from Victoria. After all, I was the only one with any knowledge of medicine, or the spare time to help. Well, it seems like you've got quite the plan, Valerina. Thanks for bringing us up to speed. So, what had you so worried just now? Are you short on Mora? Are you missing something you need? No, I've got more than enough Mora. The funds, the location, the supplies, all the various procedures. They've all been settled. The main problem is... um, The cats. They... Uh, keep swatting at me. They're always hissing and swatting. They won't let me approach them, not even with treats. <sighs> the cats are afraid of me as well. They run away the minute I'm in the vicinity. Oh, Paimon has heard something like this before. There's something about certain people that just makes cats afraid. Huh, a kind-hearted cat rescuer who doesn't get along with cats. Hmm... Seems like just visiting the cat's tail would be enough to leave you flustered, let alone running your own cat shelter. That's why we consulted an expert. But Miss Margaret wasn't able to offer a solution to our problem. She's short on workers, so she couldn't spare anyone to help us either. She did give us one piece of advice, though. To enlist the help of the honorary knight and their trusty helper in white. We had just wrapped up our conversation, and the next thing we knew, you two appeared before us like saviors sent by Lord Barbados himself! Well, Paimon's not sure how much Lord Barbados would know about taking care of cats. But that aside, we've never even worked at a shelter before, but somehow we've been turned into the saviors of the entire operation! Well, that's true. Even if Paimon has no experience working at a shelter, she's confident she can get on their good side just fine. Like, that's all we need to do here, right? We just need to show Valerina and Rosaria how to get friendly with the cats, and everything else should fall into line. Feel free to focus your efforts on Valerina. Just call me if any of the cats need medical attention. Hmm. 
If you all can keep the shelter running with minimal effort on my part, this errand might turn out to be a good use of my time after all. It's better than church activities in any case. Ah, so that's why you agreed to help. You just wanted to shirk your church duties. Well, I guess I should show you around first. Follow me, you two. Let's make our way to the Furball Fortress. I guess I'll post a commission at the Adventurer's Guild. was the biggest space I could find in the city over the past few weeks. The rent is cheap, so that's a plus. A half a year's worth of rent, along with all the cat's tail-inspired furnishings, only cost me a few million mora. Of course, not all of the cats will be staying indefinitely. We plan to offer some of the healthy ones up for adoption. As long as the new future owners prove capable and the cat seems like a good fit, they're welcome to take their new pet back to a loving home. This location is definitely good enough. We could even expand the business one day and start sheltering stray dogs, foxes, or even squirrels. When that day comes, though, I'll probably have to think of a different name. Huh, maybe the... Furball and Friends Fortress would be a better fit. <laughs> I would suggest letting all of this play out first. You still don't know if the customers will even get along with the strays. Huh? Look over there! That cat is staring at us! Oh, it's the little white cat. She's super afraid of people. She ran away when we tried to give her a bath. It took us forever to track her down again. She looks so soft and clean, and her fur is so white and fluffy, just like fresh fallen snow. Wait, that's perfect! We should call her Snowball! Ooh, those are some good names, Traveler, but Paimon thinks she likes Snowball best. Here, kitty kitty. That's it, Snowball. Good kitty. That's a good kitty. It, it's been, what, a minute? And you already got the cat to listen to you. Did you see that, Miss Rosaria? She's practically a miracle worker. You really are a cat whisperer. Ah, uh, that was nothing. They may be strays, but as long as you give them a good name and call them with love, you're sure to gain their trust eventually. First things first, though, you gotta pay attention to the way you interact with them. Um, how should Paimon put it? Basically, it all comes down to your demeanor. For example, you can't just stand there trembling in fear, Valerina. If you're afraid, the cats are sure to become afraid as well. As for you, Rosaria, you might want to keep an eye on your, uh, facial expressions? These poor creatures, picked up off the streets, given a name, and they now have a loving home. Fate is kind to even the lost souls who have wandered astray. This city really has brought peace and happiness to us all. Hey, Snowball is snuggling up to Rosaria! Looks like she's not afraid of her anymore. Did Rosaria just... smile? No matter. There are more important things to focus on. Anyway, it's getting a bit stuffy in here. I I'm going to go get some air. Call me if you need me. Huh. Paimon thought Rosaria would be happier about that. Please, teach me more of your ways, honorary knight. And you too, oh great cat whisperer. We're sure to get more and more strays coming to the Furball Fortress, and I doubt all of them will be as friendly as Snowball. There's still so much I don't know about interacting with them. No problem, just watch and learn. It's about time we move on to a more advanced lesson. 
How to get the cats not to just trust you, but to like you. It's all about patience. As long as you put in the effort to get to know them, you'll become best friends in no time. I completely understand. The Furball Fortress is still in its trial phase. So, the more I can learn at this stage, the better. Activity serves no purpose whatsoever. <laughs> 